Installing your mini side creator is pretty easy, so I'll just uh, take you quickly through that and uh, show you exactly where it is. You go on your computer, you find wherever you saved it, and, uh, and then you uh, unzip the um, exe file on, into your um, into your folder with the, whatever unzip program you have. I'm using WinZip, but there's any number of those you can even even Windows has one built in and then you uh, and this is uh, Windows Vista so in Windows Vista you have to uh, right click and run as administrator and then uh, that doesn't really matter and then click run and the program will start installing itself just like any other Windows program and you may have to click some other permissions depending on what versions of Windows you have and it'll load things up uh, very quickly for you. As soon as the next Windows pops up it'll continue and we'll be on to having the mini site creator installed. I like to put desktop links. My, my desktop is a mess but uh, <laughs> I'll put another one up there anyhow. Hit next. I agree. And let it install. When the installation is uh, complete, you'll see this little thing pop up on the screen, and then your installation is complete and ready for loading. Once the install is complete, all you have to do is uh, go to your desktop and uh, double click the icon, or go to your start menu as well, and uh, it will open right up for you. You're going to see a couple of uh, little strange things happen, maybe. I'll show you here. You see this window right here? It's just warning you that it's using ActiveX. Uh, they did not put a uh, security um, certificate on this um, software, so they had to leave the uh, these warnings there. So you just want to hit OK. And then when it loads up, you see uh, the ActiveX warning. Do you want to do this? Well, yes, you do, or else it won't work correctly. There's no, there's no secret little traps inside of here. So, click yes, goes away, and and the software loads up. So now we're ready to begin a project. When you first load it, this is the screen you're going to see. It has very explicit instructions of what you have to do. Before using the software, use your uh, favorite FTP or, or your um, file manager in your cPanel uh, to upload any graphics or video files that you're going to use um, in the website that you're creating. What I've done is I've selected a uh, PLR pro um, product that I want to create a site for, that I wanted to modify um, the way it appears, so I'm going to use that as the basis for creating um, this mini site using the mini site creator. Okay, if this software is loading for the first time, you will go to load project, and which is where it is right now, to to your left, and then load blank project. Um, which, give me a moment. There we go. Load blank project. They already have a test project in there because I actually had crashed this completely, not because the software crashed, but because I kicked the power off of my computer and, and goofed up a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> so now, as it says, it's loading, the progress bar is moving, and I'm going to pause and let it and not have to watch this whole thing. One moment. All right, and as you see, the progress bar completed, went away, so the blank project is now loaded. Now, what you do is you go in here you highlight where it says blank project and you put the name of your project. And this one, this is what my project is going to be called. So there we go. And do what it says, save project. Okay. And now, as it says, you can save project anytime you choose so you don't crash anything. And, and please pay attention to this note. Do not save with the blank project shown. That'll goof up your... Uh, your blank project and you don't want that. <clears throat> so if you're returning, you'll be able to go up in this menu and select your project and reload it anytime you come back into the program. <clears throat> so I haven't made, I haven't actually made this yet, so we're going to do this. I'm going to make a sales page from this PR product 
I'm going to, I'm not using an audio or a video, so we're going to use the long sales page. And now we're just going to follow this step by step. It's a very um, simple process, actually, because you literally just go one step after the other down the menu until you are complete. Um, and there's one little quirk I got to show you, but uh, otherwise you'll find this very simple. And if you need to get back to the main menu to change the style, you just click this bar right here. It turns red when you point at it, and it will take you back to that page. And then this will take you back to the main page. All right. So this is what we're going to do. Create a sales page for Facebook ads, my project. So the page we're looking at right now is just the instructions. It gives you a, a general set of instructions and um, basically all you do is start working your way down the page. So I'm going to start with my page width, select the radio button, go down here and enter the number of pixels. I know that it, the header I have is 780 pixels. You must enter the PX like you see here or else it will not work correctly. So right Make sure you write, if it's 1,000, put 1,000 px. If it's 200, it's 200 px, okay? Now, then you do the border. Do you want a border around your page? All right? Let's just do it just to show you what it looks like. Um, I don't I actually don't know whether I want a border around this or not, so we'll just see how it comes out. Border color. The headers are blue and kind of a dark blue, so we'll use a border color that's close to the uh, color. And that takes care of that. Um, page effect. I don't need any page effect. I'll show you what you can do here. Um, if you like those things, you can do it. I don't want it on my page. Uh, font types. All right. The page font type, I'm going to prefer. See if this function will work for us. Is Verdana. Uh, the headline font type. I will also use the same. Um, my headline, I like to have. As a reddish, a red color. So there we go. <clears throat> Essential info. Uh, this will show up at the bottom of your page. And I'm going to pause and fill this in so you don't have to watch me type it all. So here it is with all the data filled in. And you just fill in your respective information. And you can put in your um, affiliate link here because that will appear at the bottom of the page as well. Now, the next thing is support info. If you want to put in a support link or something like that, well, for the moment, I'm just going to put in my website. I can't remember the exact support link. And that's done. Um, the background color of the page. Uh, I don't have a graphic. I'm going to just make it uh, be white for the moment and we can always change that later if we don't like it. The header, I've got to select the, uh, I have a graphic, so we'll click on that. I'm going to get the graphic location and put it right there. Okay, so control V, pasted my graphic into the, the bar, so that's complete. And we'll do the same thing for the footer. Let me grab my footer graphic location. And you click the radio button for the graphic, and then click in the, the slot, and Control-V pastes it in, and now that section is complete. 